things at the U.S. Open over the past several years. I think beyond concluding, I think your year. Yes. The women's finals mm. drew Way more, more than broadcast. the men's finals. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. And so there's, there's a bit of a disconnect still into the quality, the interest, and the pay uh, and the TV deals and the sponsorship. And it's just, we're, gonna, we're getting closer and we're gonna make that connection, but the evidence is there. The I mean, evidence is there. And not just women. with tennis, look at the women's hockey game at the Olympics. Yeah, exactly. The oh most watched yeah. event of the Olympics yeah. was Canada US yeah. women's hockey. Yeah. Well, in the like, US and Canada. In the US and, and last, Canada. Last September was in Layla, the most Googled, one yes. of the most Googled people in Canada uh, right. during, during that period. I mean, yeah. it's, it's amazing and we need to talk about it more. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't want to sit and compare, but I do feel like the women's game, um, why it's being so broadcasted is because there's so much more variety than the men's tennis, I feel like. And I know the men's tennis now, um, there's more youngsters coming up and, you know, defeating the big three. Um, but at least for me, I enjoy watching women's tennis, not only because I am a woman, but because of that variety. It's so nice to see young female athletes do so well mm -hmm. under pressure, under big scenes, like Layla, like me when I was only 19, you know, I feel like that does catch the oh, people's eyes. Oh, you're still a young girl. You're still a I talk well, about this like, uh, it was 20 years ago. <laughs> well, and I, I was just on the phone with my 11-year-old daughter right before, uh, right before this, and the last thing she said is, Please tell Bianca that I <laughs> that I really like the way she plays. Oh. <laughs> See, I love that. I love hearing things like that. It's so amazing. Yeah. But when you do look at some of the youngsters on tour, I mean, you look at Coco Golf. I think she's only 17. Mm. Or she's 16, I think. Like, it's just incredible, but it's so powerful to see that. But when you think for, even from a brand perspective in terms of the product, it's like success doesn't just come from how good the tennis is, but kind of what we've discussed in terms of the personalities and what those players represent themselves, right? Mm -hmm. Well, you guys are all running like businesses, right? Our your own business little business. Is your brand. On social and media, exactly social media right. is so big. Yeah. Yeah. And it's kind of scary because um, I have this thing where I live by being impeccable with my word and being impeccable with your word means that you can use your word for good or for bad. And I feel that social media can go either way which is kind of sad, but in, in another way, it's good because so many people talk about such important events and they stand up for what you believe in. But I feel that um, managing that, and we're both doing that very well, is being impeccable with your word, but in a good way. Mm. I think that's super important. So you're talking about finding the balance between managing your brand and your worth versus speaking out and using your voice? Are you talking about that? No, I mean, just something that I live by. And that's not only for social media. That's like when I talk about anything, I want to be able to use my word for good because your word can be used for something completely opposite. <laughs>